We are here with Daniel Romano. How are you doing, first of all? I'm doing swell, thank you. I'm yes. loving this hat. Thank you. It's crazy. What's, what's the deal with the hat? It's, I love it. Uh, it's a really nice hat. It's a really, ni yeah. it's a really nice hat. Yeah. How's it feel being nominated? Uh, really good. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You, have, you have a go-to person that you, uh, you call and say, I've done it? Um, call or text? Uh, my mother for, she said that it was a, would be uh, in my best interest to let her know as soon <laughs> as I did. Call right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did that. What do you think it is about this recording process that you did this year? That uh, how was it for you anyway? Um, it got it got. Uh, I mean, I did it pretty much all myself, so it got like weird for a bit. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Oh, you know, you lose perspective and mm -hmm. and. Uh, start thinking that it's terrible or something. I actually don't really know what it's like, but it's probably really good. Do you, uh, do you ever you ever get writer's block? And if so, how do you get out of that? No, I don't get that. You never get it? No. Yeah. That's incredible. How well do you know Winnipeg? Oh, oh pretty well. Yeah? Pretty well, like, yeah. You're, you're, you're standing on pretty well. I'm if, if I tested you, you're, you're going to be good. No. <laughs> no, I was that just trying to impress well. you. I don't know uh, it very well at all. Uh, can I give you one question? Yeah, one true or false question, yeah. see if you get this. Um, Winnipeg, Slurpee capital of the world. Because of the amount of 7-Elevens? Oh, this guy knows his stuff. Okay, you do know your stuff, all right. So yes, you're saying yes, it's true or false? That seems right. 400,000 Slurpees per month. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Which is in the, in the coldest place in the world, which is right? the weirdest thing. It makes no sense at all.